In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the electric fuel pump on your Ford Focus. Let's get started. Open the fuse box in the engine bay. We're going to remove the fuel pump relay. Remove the relay. If you use a pair of pliers, be very careful not to break the relay. With the relay out, go into the car, start the car, and let it die out. It should stall out after about a minute. Put the relay off to the side. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen the top nut. Pull the pole out and lift the bracket up. Remove the plastic shield. Remove the bracket. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen the negative terminal. Pull the negative terminal off, put it to the side. There should be two nuts holding in this heat shield. Go ahead and remove those now. Pull the heat shield down and out of the way. Disconnect the connector. This is the unlock tab right here. Push on that and pull back. Using a six millimeter socket, we're gonna loosen the clamp. Get the clamp loose enough that it'll slide up and back. Get the hose loose on the tank. And pull it off. Using a six millimeter wrench, loosen the other clamp. Loosen the clamp until you can slide it back on the hose. Pull the clamp up the hose and remove the hose off of the tank. Using a flat blade screwdriver or a pick, we're gonna remove the safety clip off of this. Ours is broken, so it's coming out nice and easy. You should have to put this pick up here or flat blade screwdriver, get in this slot and then pull down. And this white clip will eventually pop off. Once that white clip is either totally out or in the unlock position, we're gonna pull the line off of the fuel filter. Remove the line. Using a 13 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the tank straps. Twist the fuel tank strap to the side and remove it from the vehicle. Do the same thing on the other side. Once all the lines and connectors are disconnected from the fuel tank, we can start to drop it down. Make sure you're not catching any lines on the way down with the tank. Using compressed air, we're gonna blow all of the dust away from the top of the fuel pump. Using a right angle pick and a flat blade screwdriver, we're gonna remove the fuel line. On the bottom, there will be tabs that you'll pull outwards. When you do this, they will unlock. Remove the lock. 
remove the line. Using a brass punch to not make any sparks, we're going to remove the lock ring. Go around hitting multiple points on the lock ring. Remove the lock ring. Twist the fuel pump to the unlock position and lift up. If you're having trouble getting this cover unseated, you can use a brass punch and gently hit. It'll sh it should pop it open. Put it in the unlock position and then we'll remove it from the vehicle. There's tabs on either side of the fuel pump. We're going to pinch these tabs in and pull straight up. I highly recommend your gas tank being more than halfway empty when attempting this job. Remove the old fuel pump. Remove the connector for the fuel pump. Push on the tab. I'm using a small pick. Pull the connector off. Using a 3 16 socket, remove the three screws for the top cover. Pull the cover up and out. Pull the fuel pump straight down. Install the rubber onto the top of the fuel pump. Pull the cap off the bottom. Install the rubber onto the bottom of the fuel pump or the filter. Install it. Make sure everything lines up. Get this fully seated. Install the retainer onto the pole. I'm going to use our 3 16 socket. Push down and install the retainer. Install the fuel pump. Into the top. Install the top lid. Install the screws around the top. Snug the bolts down. Install the connector onto the fuel pump. We're going to change the bottom filter on our fuel pump assembly. Taking a pair of pliers, we're going to squeeze the two clips. Once you squeeze the clips, push the filter off and unlock it. Pull it off of the assembly. Install the new filter. Make sure it's fully seated and clips into place. Make sure these tabs pop back out. Install the fuel pump into the vehicle. These were the two tabs that we squeezed on to remove it. Our level sender was on the right side. We'll drop the level sender into the tank. Swivel the pump in. Push the fuel pump down into place until it clicks. You can give a pull up on it. Make sure it's clicking into place. Install the fuel pump. Make sure it's fully seated. Twist the fuel pump so it's locked in. Install the lock ring. Tap the lock ring into the locked position. Remove the plug. Install the line, install the lock,
As you're going up with the fuel tank, be sure that all of the lines stay out of your way as you're going up and they don't get pinched by the corner of the tank. Install the tank strap without the studs onto the passenger side. Once you have it started, twist it around under the tank. Be sure that it's sitting square up in the bracket. Do the same thing on the other side. This one will be the strap with the studs. Again, be sure it's sitting square up in the bracket. Pull the tank straps over each other. They will fit inside. Install the bolt and tank straps up into the vehicle. Once you have the straps installed, release the jack, move it out of the vehicle, install the line onto the tank. Be sure it's fully seated. Once you have it fully tightened, give a push on it. Make sure it doesn't move around at all. Do the same thing with the other line. Get it installed on the tank. Get the line fully seated onto the tank. Pull the clamp down. Get the clamp to its original position and then we'll snug it down. Install the fuel pump connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked in. Install the line onto the fuel filter. If your lock came out, make sure you install the lock. Install the heat shield. If you have them, install the nuts. Install the relay. Close the box. Install the negative battery terminal. Snug it down. Install the cover. Install the bracket. Pull the pull out. Install it into the bracket and snug the nut down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.